Hi everyone, welcome to AIT Partsala. Today is the day two in the Python series of lectures. And today we are going to discuss very basic thing in the Python. That is uh, print statement, comments, variables, indentations, etc, etc. Those of you who are watching the recorded session on YouTube, I request you to go to the description of this video and join my Telegram link. And there is a Telegram link there. You can join the Telegram group. There you will get all the updates regarding the, my regular live sessions. That is completely free of cost. Anyone can join there and avail the benefit of free live sessions. So also, please don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you will get updated with the latest videos that we put on our channel. Now let's start, start this session. So let me share you my screen and uh, then we will start. So let me create a new IPYMV5. So let's go there. And I'm creating. This is the Since the audio channel is open, one more thing, what I expect from those of you who are participating in this session. So you can keep on interacting with me wherever you face any issues. You just interrupt me in between and ask questions. I'm happy to uh, resolve your queries. And second thing is that I don't want you to sit there idle and keep watching my video. No, this is. Uh, not acceptable. You have to open your uh, Jupyter notebook and keep typing along with me so that you can practice the code, you can run the code, you can see your output. And if you face any issues, you can share you, me your screen, you can ping me your code uh, in my chat box, and I will rectify it. And we, we will have a very healthy discussion there. Okay, is it fine for you? Am I guys get yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So let's see. First, I am typing one thing. Import this, and I am running this command. So what I get, I am getting all these things. So you people, first of all, you people might be confused what this import and all those things. So let's. Don't focus on this because we will uh, we will in the future section we are going to discuss all these things in very details. What is the import command do how it works and simply all those things. But here this is just a basic design philosophy of by by running this command by running this you will get a basic design philosophy of Python. So this is the basic design philosophy of the Python. Now let's move ahead. So now the first thing in Python is that when I want to print anything in the Python, there is one building function called print function. P R I N T. This P should always be in small print function. This is a building function. Building functions means it is already built inside the Python, uh, inside a Python. So when I want to write anything, uh, this print anything inside a Python. So we have to use this print function. So let's write something and see. I am printing my name. 
लेट्स से और प्रिंट ए आई ए आई की पाठशाला I want to print this, so I have put this print command, and inside that print command, I am writing AI key parser, and I am running this. So I am getting here AI key parser. But the most important thing here is that you have to remember, whenever I want to print this kind of uh, sentences or any word or any letter kind of thing. we have to always put this inside a double quotation or inside a single quotation without which if i do not put this inside a double quotation or inside a single quotation we will get an error let's here i have used double quotation now i am using a single quotation i will get the same output i am using single quotation see i get this same output ai ki parser this whenever you and now let's see one more thing if i do not put this double quotation what will happen and i run i get an error and this error is called invalid syntax because the whenever you want to print any string inside a python this is a string we will discuss about what is a string and all those things in details in the coming uh, future sections just if you want to uh, for the time being you just understand if you want to uh, print any line or uh, something uh, related to or any letter or any word or any character you have to put it inside the print statement you have to put it inside See, either inside a single quotation or inside a double quotation. If you do not put it, Python will give you an error, and this is called invalid syntax. It is a syntactical error. Is it fine to you? Yes. So let's. Okay. So let's. Uh. See something more, and try to understand something more. i am taking this same print statement or this time what i am doing this this is called parenthesis this enclosing bracket the two enclosing bracket from both side of ai ki parsala is called parenthesis this is called parenthesis in python this is called parenthesis equal to parenthesis seven this is in python so let's say if i miss the parenthesis then what will happen i am simply writing print ai ki parsala in this case also i am getting an error this is for invalid sentence what it means whenever you print whenever you want to print anything you have to put that particular thing inside a parenthesis if you do not put it inside a parenthesis it will give you an error and that error is called invalid syntax let's do one more thing let's put one parenthesis and leave other parenthesis what will happen now and let's run the code again you get an error and see here it is it is called syntax error and it is also pointing you towards this point that where this error is coming unexpected you have while parsing that means you are missing this parenthesis here so you have to put this parenthesis if you do not put this parenthesis you will get this error now let's print something more you you people also keep printing along with me print i am printing print greetings from 
AI P part sala. What you will get and run this, you will get buildings from AI P part sala. Here I am meeting all the criteria. I am putting this greeting from AIT part sala inside a double quotation. Also, I am enclosing it inside a parenthesis and putting this print statement just before the parenthesis. So I am not getting any error. Print something more. Let's print. Good morning. Inside a single quotation. Morning. Let's print it. I'm getting good morning. Everything is fine. I am printing something more. Print work hard and keep your self busy at least fifteen. And I'm running this, I'm getting this. Work hard and keep yourself busy at least 15 hours. Self busy at least 15 hours a day. Okay. Now I want, I'm printing something more. Why I'm giving you so much examples so that you can practice along with me and see by yourself. Is it getting, are you getting the print statement as it is, as uh, you are writing in the inside of print statement or not? All our dreams can come true. If we have the courage to pursue freedom, I'm putting full stop, and this is why this one. Okay. and I'm running this. Yes, I am getting all this. Yes. Now, what I am doing? So now let's come to another thing. It's called comments in Python. Called comments in Python. I am copying all these codes. Here, yeah. I'm copying this piece of code and I'm putting it here. I'm copying this piece of code and putting it here. I'm also copying, copying this piece of code and putting it here. Now, See, what does comments in Python say? Comments, if you want to comment on, that means if you want that the Python does not execute that particular line or that particular uh, line in the entire code block, you have to put this has, this has before that statement. What Python will do? Python will skip that particular statement and and will not print and will not execute it. Let's say here is a four print statement I have written. First, this is the first line. This is second line. This is third line. And if I run this, if I run this piece of code, what I will get? I will get this. All the, those four statements I am getting as it is. Now let's say. I put this this as here in the second and in the 
third statement. So what will happen? Whenever I put this has before a statement, that particular Python will not execute that particular state, statement. So it is it will comment on that particular statement. Now, now let's run this. See, I am getting only the first statement, first line and the fourth line. My two line of code in between will get skipped because Python has not executed this line of code. As soon as Python encounters this hash, Python will skip executing that particular statement or that particular line and move to the next line. This is how, that's why hash statement is used to comment on a particular thing. If you are writing a piece of uh, some code and if you want to put some kind of comment, so you can put that comment inside the hash so that it is understandable by the um, other programmers or other software engineer guys easily what you are writing. And that, that particular statement will not be a part of your execution. Hope I will understand, hope you get, a, a, you, you understood this. Let's put this hash here also and see what will happen. If I put this hash here also, Python will not execute this fourth line also. And now let's run this. Now I am getting only this, the first line. Let's put the hash here also in all the four lines. What will happen? Now the Python will not execute the any, any line in this. Let's run this and See, I am not getting any print statement because I have commented all these four lines. I hope you under understand this. Yes. So I am writing one more print statement here and I am for your understanding so that uh, after the class when you have this uh, Python notebook, you will understand this line is not commented. The print statement will it is we do this and print it in this Now I am running this. What I am getting? I am getting as this line is not commented, the print statement will execute this and print this statement. See, all these four lines of uh, line is commented except this. That's why I am only getting the print state print from this line. See if you have to comment one single line, then you have to put this has 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 in every line in one line, but if you have to comment a multiple line, then you have to put this has in every line. Let's say here, I want to comment this four line. So I have to put this has before every line, every print statement, I have to put this line. But I do not want to put this has every time. So there is one way, this is called multi-line commenting. How you do multi line commenting? Multi line commenting. Commenting. How you do multi line commenting? Let's see. I am taking this entire multi line, entire code block, putting it here. And instead of this, 
I am reviewing this has. I want to comment the line from this print statement till this fourth print statement, and I do not want to comment the last print statement. This process of commenting more than one line in a single go is called multi-line commenting. How I will do this? For doing a multi-line commenting, before the first line, before the start of the first line, I have to either put three times single quotation or three times double quotation. And at the end of the multi-line commenting, where I want to uh, end my multi-line commenting, there also I have to put either single uh, quotation three times or double quotation three times. So let's put it inside a double quotation three times. First, two, three. Uh, and here also put it. See, now this is this get commented. I have put this double quotation three times here and this double quotation three times here. When I run this piece of code, let's see what will happen. I am getting only this print statement. As this line is not commented, the Python statement will execute this and print this statement. Why this is happening? Because I have commented all the four lines before that using the multi-line commenting. Now let's say I can also use, in, in, instead of uh, this double quotation, I can also use single quotation. So let's use single quotation. Let's copy this and paste it here. And this time, instead of the double quotation, I'm using the single quotation. Let's use single quotation. Three times. They are also use single quotation three times. Now let's run this. Same thing. Python is not considering this for line of code because it is inside a single triple times single quotations. This is how we do the multi line commentary. Now let's see few more examples, few examples of when we will use during the print statement also, you can use either a single quotation or a double quotation. So there is few cases where the conflict will arise when you use a single quotation or double quotation. At that time, you have to make a choice what you have to use. Let's take one example, print. I am printing it inside a single quotation. This article belongs to Mary. Are you guys getting this? Now let's run this and see what will happen. I am getting an invalid syntax. Why I am getting this? See, I have done everything right here. I have done nothing wrong here. I have put the print statement. I have used the parentheses and I have put this entire statement inside a single quotation. Still, I am getting an error. And it is showing where this error is. This error is showing here, apostrophe S. Now let's say why this error is happening. Because in this line, this article belongs to Mary. There is single quotation here also. When the Python execution, when the Python starts executing this code, so it encounters the single quotation. And now the 
control starts flowing uh, in this way and and it encounters this single quotation so python when this single quotation when the python encounters this single quotation python consider this entire line as one statement and wants to print it but it is not encountering the parenthesis thereafter it is encountering some more lines some more string after that and python get confused because python as soon as this python encounters this single quotation python consider this as the end of the statement but python also encounters this single uh, quotation here so now the python get confused and that's why i am getting this error so to rule out this error what i shall do here i do not use single quotation in spite of the single quotation if i use double quotation here let's use double quotation here um, let's put it in another set so that it is understandable guys now let's use double quotation here let's use double quotation here now let's run this now it is completely fine now if i use the double quotation here python will not encounter this issue because now it is searching for the double quotation for the end of this statement and it is getting the double quotation here after many so now python is consider this entire line as one statement or one uh, string and printing this here this article belongs to mary this is the use of double quotation here likewise there may be some cases where you when you have to use a single quotation in spite of the double quotation so it it varies case to case so you have to see i have just given you one case so that you should understand uh the uses of single and double quotation uh according to the context so now let's move to the keywords what is keywords in python keywords in python see keywords are the reserved words see keywords are reserved words words in python what is the reserved keywords are the reserved words in python what is the, what does that mean that means keywords are those words which are defined inside the python programming that is called keywords which is already defined while building this python uh, program the uh, builders of the python program has already defined those words inside the python so those are called keywords so here i am printing the some keywords here print keywords keyword dot kw list and before that i have to import also this so let's import import keyword so uh, don't get confused why this i am using uh, this import statement because i will be discussing it later for the time being let's understand you have to first import this and then you have to print this if i do these are some of the keywords that python has already used inside the program inside its program false none true and has assert async await break class continue def del elif 
else except finally fall from global if these are all the keywords. Why I am um, telling you about this keyword? Because whatever the keyword that Python has already defined inside it, you cannot use that keywords keyword as your variable. So, and what variable is? Now, the next thing that I'm going to study, we are going to study is the variable. So we cannot use these keywords as our variable. Why cannot, if we use the keywords, uh, these keywords as our variable, Python will give us the error. Because, because the Python will get confused. Because these words uh, has some specific meaning inside the Python programming or some specific, these words perform some specific function inside the Python programming. So if we assign this, the, uh, these words as our variable, the Python get confused. That why, that's why it gives us the error. So hope you understand this. May I get yes or no from your end, please? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, fine. So now let's understand what is variable. See. So uh, in this uh, 21 line number 7, print keyword dot kw list, you have not uh, put uh, this uh, quotation mark. This? Here? Yeah, this, yeah. Okay. See. Ah. Uh, you point it rightly. Let's put a quotation mark and see what will happen. Let's put quotation. Let's put quotation. See what I'm getting? Yeah. Quotation. If we put something inside a quotation, single or double quotation, we get that particular statement as it is. So here I am getting keyword dot kwifst. Mm. Is it okay? But here I do not want to print this. I want to see what is inside my keyword list. Okay. Mm. See, these are something which we are going to discuss in very details in the later sections. So for the time being, you just understand uh, you just uh, understand this. Keyword dot kwi keyword is I have imported this keyword inside our uh, program, and I want to see what is inside this keyword. So yes. I want to see keyword list. That's why I am printing keyword dot kwilist. That's why I am getting all those things. Right. If I simply want to print this, I can do this and I will get this. You will get the more clarity about this kid dot the something like that later in this section. Don't worry. We will come to that later. Is it fine for you? But right. this is a very nice question. Uh, I appreciate your question. At least you started thinking in that direction. This is very good. Why this is not happening? Why that is happening? Okay. So let's move to variable. See what variable is. Let's understand this theoretically. Then we will move to the code and, and see with the help of the code what is the variable. See, like everyone us has some name and we are known and name is our identity. We are all known by our name. So if anyone wants to call me, what they will call me, they will call me by our name. Maybe my name is uh, Jack or someone name is John or someone name is Mary or someone name is something else. So if I call that person by, his, by that name, that person will understand someone is calling me. Same thing is true for the variable. 
so we assign a data we assign any kind of data inside some variable so that whenever i want that data i call that data with the help of that variable so it the in the programming language developers use variables to make the code more user friendly so that they are able to understand what this particular uh, data belongs to which variable so it is very uh, easy for them to work along with the variable so what variable is so variable is a location in memory which is used to store some data and the variable has unique names to differentiate between different memory locations the rule for writing a variable name is same as the rules for writing the identifiers in python one more thing is that in the if you let's let me uh, uh, open my c whenever if you are uh, in some other programming language let's say c++ or java or c whenever you are writing a variable you have to define this variable belongs to which kind of data what is the type of data this variable belongs but in python you do not have to mention that the type of variable you simply name a variable and assign its value value python will automatically understand which which uh, data type this variable belongs to. let's say uh, i want to num i want to define this variable inside a python so i will define this variable python and i will assign some number let's say 10 and you know you know that 10 is a integer value in terms of python it is called int in terms in python it is called int so python will as soon as you assign uh, num the value 10 python will automatically understand this is a int class of variable you don't have to specify inside this variable which kind of uh, data type it belongs to but in other programming language if you have to use the data type also before assigning variable a value let's say if you are in some other uh, programming language you have to write it like this num int after that 10 that means you are telling this variable that you are going to define one integer variable and then you are defining this variable then you are defining this integer so this is true for other programming languages but python has made it very easy here you do do not need to put these things you simply have has to define the variable and assign its value python will automatically understand what this variable belongs to see in a more technical term we can say that variable in python are the values that will vary variable is used to store a value according to the requirement this value of variable may change in future so we will understand this what i have told you so let's understand let's say i have declared one variable name and i am assigning a and b inside this i am declaring one variable number and I am defining this number. I am declaring one variable 
कोर्स एंड आई एम ए आई सो वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम सिंपली डिफाइनिंग दिस वेरिएबल नेम एंड आई एम पुटिंग दिस नेम हो लेट्स प्रिंट दिस इफ आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट प्रिंट नेम योर क्वेश्चन प्रिंट नंबर है प्रिंट कोर्स एंड नाउ आई एम रनिंग दिस आई एम गेटिंग अनु because i am printing this variable name anu i am printing this number i am getting this number i am printing this course so in the uh, just uh, in the last section uh, mr misra has asked me a question why inside this print i am not uh, covering it with either single or double quotation so will you understand this let's put this inside a single quotation if i put this inside a single quotation mr misra i will get instead of this the value of this variable i will get simply this name but yeah. i will if i will not put it inside a single quotation so what will happen now whatever value this variable contains i will get that value and i want to print that value that's why i am i am not putting it inside a single or double will you understand this yes see okay so now let's understand one more thing here what is that uh, yes see variables are the values inside a memory location what does that mean let's a is a variable and i am assigning the value of y so here in the memory location this variable has get a a get assigned some memory here this is 1 2 3 4 4 whatever address of the memory location what it takes let's put so it has assigned the python internally assigned a location whenever i declare a variable uh, here i i have declared a variable a is equal to 5 so what is happening that python internally assigns a memory location inside its inside uh, its ram python is assigning a memory location it creates a space in the memory for this variable and putting this variable uh, putting this value there if i if i declare another variable let's say b is equal to 10 now python will create another memory location for this variable 10 let's say i have i am declare i have declared one more variable n u m and assign this let's say b initially let's understand this i have defined b is equal to 10 so what will happen let's here in this memory this is a memory location memory location python has assigned the value 10 here and there will be some address of this memory location now i have defined another variable with the name n and i am define i am assigning the same value 10 that means this variable b and this variable num has same value so now this is a unique feature in python that's why i am focusing you on this now python will not create a new memory location because the value in b and the value in the variable b and the value in the variable num both the value has both has the same value so python will what python will do python will point this num 
towards this memory location. Python will point this variable B towards this memory location and Python will point this num towards this memory location. But it will not create a new memory location. Why it will not create? If you see the address in the memory of num and the B, you will get the same address because both the variable is pointing towards the same memory location because both have the same value. If you see the memory location of B and the memory location of A, both will be different because the value of the variable, even if, uh, because the value of the vari uh, variable is different. So for the different value of the variable, Python is creating different memory location. Is it fine? Now let's see with the help of yes. uh, uh, a simple code. So let's see this. Whatever. Let's see. I have assigned one value called a is equal to 5 and other value b is equal to um, 10. For getting the memory location of A, there is one function called id. id, id. This function will give you the memory location of that variable. I want to print the memory location of R. So print the memory location of R. Also, I want to print the memory location of B. So id. If I run this, I will get the memory location of this variable A and this variable B. See, this is the memory location and you will see both the location is different. The address, this is called the address in the memory and both the addresses are different. Now, let's put one more variable num is equal to 10 and run this. Now, print the, the memory location. ID? ID is, uh, full form is basically you are, uh, there is nothing called ID. It is a short form which is used in the, it is used to, this ID were, is used for checking the memory location of any variable. This is ID is used to, uh, there is no such full form of ID. You can understand it that uh, in this way that ID is used to give us the memory location of a variable. So I want a memory location of A. So I put ID before A and I get the memory location here. I want to uh, get the memory location of B. So I put the ID before B and I will get, the, I, I, I got the memory location here. Now, let's see, I want to, uh, I want the memory location of num. Num also has a variable 10 and b also has a variable 10. Both the variable has the same value, that is 10. So, uh, id of 10. If you see the id of this ID, that is the ID of B and ID of num, both are same. See, 430293, 430293, 0080, 0080. So whatever I have explained you just before, is it true now? Are you getting now? I can check this by also that is ID of B equal equal to ID of num. Uh, 
value of b okay in value syntax see if i am checking this id of b is equal equal to id of num i am getting true it means the id of b and the id of num are equal both are having equal ids so if you want to check if the two ids are same you can also check by this if you get, let's check the id of let's check the id of a and b so a and b what i am getting i am getting false why because the id of a and id of b is different so hope you get a clarity on this so let's see few more examples of variable we can also this is called multiple assignments we multiple assignments assign means it it means in the same line you can assign multiple variables a multiple multiple uh, variables of value let's say a is one variable b is another variable and c is another variable and i want to assign all those three uh, some value and assigning a 10 i am assigning b 9.8 and i am assigning c value which is dl in the same line i can also assign the value now here what is happening this value is getting a, a stored in the variable a 10 is getting a stored in variable a 9.8 is getting a stored in variable b dl is getting a stored in variable c if i am executing this and let's check what i am getting i am checking for a i am getting 10 i am checking for b i am getting 9.8 i am checking for c i am getting d is there any question and you can also there is this is see in the python notebook what is happening uh, in this cell what what will be the last statement or last something by uh, this cell will automatically print this we don't do not need to um, put a separate print statement otherwise you can also print it this is only true in case of this jupiter notebook but not true in other ids i want to print this a i want to print this print v i want to print this print c can i go to line okay. number 30 in line number 30 yes what are the confusion you have no no 31 31 okay 31 30 okay i have a i have assigned a value 5 and b value 10 as soon as i assigned a value uh, this variable the value 5 it creates some memory it creates a memory location of this variable for storing this value 5 and this variable also creates a memory location for uh, for uh, storing this very uh, value 10 now here in the 31 i am uh, i am id of a so what it gives id of a id of a gives me the memory location of a and id of b gives me the memory location of b and i am checking 
if the memory location of A is equal to the memory location of B, I am getting false because no, both the variable has different values. So the memory location of both cannot be same. Also, we have checked the address of address in the memory location. Address of A is this and address of B is this. And you can see the both the address is not same. That's why ID of A is not equal to ID of B. So I'm getting here false. In the previous case, since B and num both has the same value, uh, value. So the memory location of both is same. That's why I the ID of B and ID of num is same. That's why I'm getting true. Do you get this, Mr. Sankar? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, fine. So now let's see one more thing here. You can also do it like this. See, I have variable A and I have variable B is equal to and I have variable C. And I put the value of this variable as A. Yeah. Or AI key part sum. I put this value. Here, mm -hmm. all the three variables has the same value, AI key part sum. Now I am running this. Now let's check A. I am getting AI key part sum. Let's check B. I am getting AI key part sum. Let's check C. Yeah, I keep personal because I have assigned all the three variables the same value. That's why I'm getting all the three values. Now let's check is ID of print print ID of A print ID of B print ID of C. You can see this here. All the ABC has the same value. That's why all these three have the same memory location. Is there any difference in the memory location of ABC? Ms. Ruchi? Yes. Do you understand this? Yes. Do you understand, Mr. Sankar? Yes. Okay. So here what we understood, since the memory, since all these three variables has the same value, that's why the memory location of all these three is same. You can also check it like this, ID of A, is equal to id of b is equal to id of c what you will get you will get true if you check this is this what well, you are checking is this equal to this is equal to this yes all the three are equal that's why i'm getting true if it would not be equal then i will get false Now let's see also capital X is equal to 5, small y is equal to 10, and I want to print x, y, print x, comma, y. So what I will get? I will get this 5. Because x value x has a value 5, that's why I'm getting 5 here. And y has a value 10, that's why I'm getting 10.
Now let's see. There are certain rules which you have to follow while you are declaring of any variable. If you do not follow that rule, Python will give you throw you an error. So let's see what are those rules for rules for defining variable. Rules for defining the variable. First rule is that So let's see what are certain rules for defining the variable. First is that <clears throat> first is that variable names cannot start with a number. Variable name cannot start with number. What does that, keep, that mean? Let's assign one variable. 1 a is equal to let's my name a n u t or 1 name is equal to and let's run this. I am getting the error in syntax. Why I am getting this error? Because I am starting this variable name with some numerical value like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. So we cannot start a variable name with any number. Likewise, you cannot do this uh, number is equal to 7, 6. If you do this, you will again get this error because we are starting this variable name with some number. So this is a wrong practice. You are not supposed to do this. This is then what is the correct way? Correct way is if I want to assign a number, uh, what? The digits what? should be come after the variable. Yes, it cell it can come after the variable, but not before. At the start of the variable, it will not come. Just like this, one is coming at the beginning. Five six four is coming at the beginning, so it should not come. Variable names name should not cannot start with number. That's all. It can come like this name, let's say two, three, five. And then if I am assigning uh, this value, Anu. Number or digit? Yes, number or digit, it's same thing. It cannot start with any digit or number. It's the same thing. See here, name after name in the name. I am uh, writing this variable. This is a int this entire is a variable name two three four, and this is completely fine. Why it is fine? Because we can put number after, uh, at the end or in between also or something like that. Only the thing is that we should not start with a number. So if I want to print this, see what is inside this variable name two three four, I will get. Is it correct? No. Now let's come to the second rule. Variables are case sensitive. Variables are, variables are 
is sensitive. Variables are case sensitive means, let's take one variable name and uh, put my name here, A N U P, And let's take another variable, capital N A M E, and let's put this A I E part sala. And let's run this. See, both variable, if you pronounce this variable, this is also name and this is also name. But in this variable, n is in a small lowercase or a small letter. And in this variable name, second variable name, n is in the uppercase, that means in the capital letter. So since one one letter in this variable is in a small and one letter in this variable is in uh, uh, uppercase. So both the variables is different. Both are not same because variables are case sensitive. Case sensitive means lowercase and uppercase. I think you must be lowercase and uppercase. You must be knowing about the case. Lowercase means small letter and uppercase means capital letter. So both are different. If you print name, you will get Anu. And if you print this capital name, capital letter N, name, you will get this AIT yeah. part. Okay. You can also see both since both the variable has different value, ID of both will be different. ID of name. Let's check is equal to ID of capital. See, I am getting false. That means both have different ID. This is a second rule. Case sensitive. Let's move to the third. Don't use, don't use Python in build function as your value. Function public data type type as well. What does that mean? The functions, we, the function which are already defined inside the Python or the data type which are already defined inside the Python, we cannot use the same thing as our variable. I have told you earlier this also. So what does that mean? Let's say print, you know, print is a built-in function inside a variable. And I'm using this print as our uh, variable name. And I'm, I, and I'm assigning some value, 100. Now let's do this. It is taking the value and if I will print and print what I will get. Int object is not callable. I am getting this one. So we cannot do this. Just like that, int is a built-in function, uh, is a built-in data type inside a Python. And let's say I am assigning some value, 16 inside it. And I want to print this, print int. I am getting. This way. Because these are the building built-in function. This is a built-in function inside a Python, and this is a built-in data type inside a Python, inside the Python. So whatever thing that is already is whatever words 
that is already used inside a Python as a function or as some kind of data type or some kind of library, you cannot use it as your variable in a Python. This is the one rule. In spite of that, you can use this thing like that number underscore, uh, let's say one is equal to 60. This is the value. Print number underscore. So now there is a fourth rule. What is that? Variable variable name can only contain alpha for numeric. Characters and underscore. What does that mean? Capital A to capital Z, comma, zero to nine, comma, small a to small z, comma. Understood. See, it means while defining a variable, you are supposed to use only these four things. What are these four things? First, capital A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, till Z. Second thing, small a small b, small c, small d, till z, till small z. Third thing, 0, 1, 2, 3, till 9. And last thing, underscore. Only you are supposed to use these things as your variable name. Except this, you cannot use any other thing as your variable. You can use a variable name, capital letter, A to Z, small letter, A to Z, or later in the uppercase, A to Z, later in the lowercase, A to Z, 0 to 9, and this underscore. Apart from these, if you use anything as your variable name, it will throw you an error. So this is the third thing. You cannot use like this if I am using name and at the rate is equal to let's assign one a anu and I'm what I'm getting I'm getting in the syntax because I am not supposed to use this these are called special characters at the rate in the variable or I am not supposed to use any other thing like let's say name and uh, put something else uh, ampersand is equal to let's say John and let's I'm getting an error because I'm using special character ampersand here in the variable or you can mm, take fruit let's say Question mark, question mark, and uh, chain. 
I'm again getting another invalid syntax. Because I'm using a variable name, except these things. And this is a special character. A special character cannot be used as a variable name. That's why I'm getting a error. So I can write it like this name underscore. Let's say a is equal to marriage. If I do this, it is correct. If I want to print it, print. Name underscore a name. This is the correct way of writing a variable. Hope you guys understand this. We are not supposed to use any special characters. What comes inside the special characters? The special characters like percentage, this symbol, this symbol, this symbol, or this symbol, or this symbol, or this, or this, or whatever is. You are not supposed to use any one of these as while you are defining the variable. These are called special characters in Python. These are called special characters in Python. Special characters in Python. You are not supposed to use special characters as your variable. Is this fine for you? So let's end this session here. I will share this IP YNB file with you on the YouTube live. Uh, you can check it. I will share you the link on the YouTube description video. Also, uh, you can uh, join our Instagram group so that uh, you can get the update about the regular class timing and everything related to or if you have any doubts, any queries related to the things which we have discussed in the class, you can ask a doubt there in the Telegram group. And uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you, can, you will get updated with our latest uh, videos and uh, topics that we are going to discuss in the class so now i am stop i'm stopping sharing my screen and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this session and uh, keep giving me the feedback so that i can improve and uh, make your learning experience a, a very great one so Let's meet in the next video. We will be going Thank to you. discuss something new in the next video. So now. Thanks for coming. Bye. -bye.